Amazing Cultivation Simulator. Like I said before in my previous episodes, I can't get enough of this game. This game is just absolutely amazing. Um, it's been a day since I've played since my last episodes. I do apologize if I'm trying to remember exactly what we're doing. We do have our four bedrooms here. We have four people. Which means... We just had someone join, and it was... <sighs> Sorry. Uh, and I'm going to be pronouncing this game again, and I've, <laughs> I think I've apologized a hundred times in my last videos because of this, but I have a hard time pronouncing these names. Um, Zung Sti uh, Situ? I, I know I've said that wrong. But we need to assign that to you because our mysterious cultivator friend needs his own little space. Oh, and it didn't matter because he's going to be sitting off on his own. So we are now at the mercy of our own people. Um, he's no longer going to be here to protect us, which means if we get attacked, we have to defend ourselves. Um, all that fun stuff. I have all this stuff set to be cut down. And there's a hundred ways that you could play this and set this up. And, you know, there's probably people out there who already have better designs than the designs I have here. And that's okay. Honestly, it's you make it your own game. I was going to check your stats. Interesting hairstyle. I'm not going to lie there. You need a tool. Uh, you do not have the tool to chopity wood. Chopity, chopity, chop, chop. Make main axe. So basically, he's just going around and he does have a tool. No, he has a pickaxe. He doesn't have an axe. Go get an axe. Thought I had another axe. Do you have any other weapon? You do. You have the chucker rod. But I've been looking at... Do I have enough food? I have 99 food. Um, at this game, like I said, this game has just been taking up the, the majority of my time. And I have been enjoying everything about it. Um, oh, there's a body there. <laughs> I'm just finding all this stuff that's just distracting me from what I'm trying to uh, say here. Mm. Ying Fa searched the corpse and found a marble sword. Ooh, I have a lot of marble stuff. Because I think I have like two marble spears and now I have a marble sword and a wood chakra. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah. I mean, you're just sitting there. Another thing we can do is we can go into the sect. I, I, one of the things I didn't go over. So you have structure. These are like, you know, the base buildings as we've been using to build the walls, the doors. You can also use roofs, but the, the best part is, is the roofs don't count towards, you know, the feng shui of the room. Um, you can create fences, but they don't count towards a room. There's the life stuff where in which we can get the tables, the beds, the double beds, you know, for those two people who want to sleep in a bed together, which is funnily enough. Um, the water vat, which where in which we have this, where in which it, people draw water from the well and fill the water vat, which then you can use the water vat to few, uh, drink from. They can use the water vat to set, put out fires. They can also use the water vat to um, use in cooking, which is why I always put wine right next to the stove because you can use it there. You've got graves, but as you'll see, you don't really need to make graves, at least from what I've seen. Wow. Suddenly, I just got really tired, and I do apologize. The display item cases are really incredibly important, because, and I will show you once I start making a feng shui room, because you can use uh, items like, let's say, the spirit wood, um, which has a great key gathering ability. Um, to display those, you have the dressing table, you can go to work. We have all these things that we're going to be needing to put in here. So we have the medicine. We have the stove over here. We have the timber there. So we need a forge. So we're going to slap a forge in there. We need a furnace. I'm going to slap the furnace in here. We need a mill. Okay. Sewing table. We'll sew through that there. And then the loom. Um, yeah, the, we really didn't need that big of a space, in all honesty. Okay, but this will be our workshop. One of the things I do like to do from here, and this is just my personal aesthetic. Let me go ahead. 
A group of bandits who make a living robbing people across cities and towns has attacked you. So here's our first instance where in which we're going to get attacked. Um, so that's fun. It's going to slow down time for you automatically down to the uh, one speed, but you can see them on the map here. Uh, I do apologize. I was not yawning this much beforehand, and all of a sudden I've just got all these yawns. Oh, I don't know why. But we can check their stats. They're a psychic child, Taoist priest, and they're good tempered. Uh, we can see their equipment. They do have a brownstone spear. You know, they've got some poor quality clothing. Thankfully, this doesn't have the what is famous in Rimworld. You can't wear clothes from a corpse. This game is kind of like, oh, you got clothes, you got clothes. Don't. It don't matter. Good to know, though. We need some more bricks from here. So let's just go here. I'm going to produce 10. That's fine. And then I was going to go here. One of the things I like to do for aesthetic-wise, um, you honestly don't have to if you're playing through this, but I, I, I try to kind of like to keep things a little bit neat, is I'm going to produce 300 of this brownstone offcut. While I'm at it, we're going to go ahead and just recruit everyone here. And I just, I wish there was like a uh, select everyone button. We're going to click all of you to an attack mode. It's going to pause the game automatically, which I like. Oh, she's got her spear. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's going in for an attack. But I'm going to send all my people down here. I think, yep, yeah, she's going to attack the wood wall. Oh, no. And then all my people, you know, they're running along. And there's a female cat attacking my people. Leave him alone. No, oh, he's fine. He did, really didn't do much. Look at that. So much water. Battle noises. Oh, and she's now dying. Her brain from Ying Fa's wind striker was is in deterioration, and then the wooden bow punctured her right lower leg muscle. Female bull. You're punching a female bull with I uh, the chakra rounds. What's your health at? You have a cut, serious, cut, serious, cut, normal, cut, normal, cut, serious, cut, normal. Oh my gosh. I need everyone else to come down here and attack this bull and help him. Her. Him. Yeah, it's a him. Ugh. Okay. Hi, PlayStation. You just beeped at me for some reason. I do not know why. My PlayStation is, um, they're going to attack the unconscious bull. Oh, no, no, they're not. Someone is hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What is with the all the crazy animals? See, this is why I've, like, really disliked the animals in this game. Because, like, every single one of them will just randomly go to town and just decide you need to be murdered. And then you get all these wounds that is just ridiculous. Like... <sighs> makes makes it difficult and it makes me like you know makes me honestly just start going on a genocide and murdering everything but that would be wrong we don't want a genocide and we don't want to murder everything because we need them for food yes anyway back um we have sex stuff uh the sect stuff where in which you can designate, like, you know, training spots uh, for your people, where in which if they were to start train, uh, if they're going to go do their morning trainings or night trainings, um, they'll go to those spots. Decoration. Now, you notice when I pulled up decoration compared to the other ones, it had this little tab that said lighting. Um, I do know, because I have gotten into the next uh, building levels, um, this does open up and there's several more tabs to the decoration. Right now, we just have the lighting. We have leisure, where in which, you know, Tic tic toe in a bird cage, where we already have the tic tic toe in the bird cage. I also like how the light follows your um, mouse, and that way you know they can have fun. Flooring, obviously, remove flooring. All these interesting and decorative floorings. Designating an area such as uh, a field to grow food, um, a storage to store things, and a pasture for animals to graze. And then these are blueprints. Now we can go ahead and go either like you know get blueprints off the workshop, create your own. All those types. I, I kind of showed you my blueprints previously that I had some pre-made, uh, pre but I was going to fix them. So we're going to go ahead and do this and just select this 7x4 where we're going to call it. We're going to call it basic to bedroom. 
and that won't work. So we're gonna change this two to the actual numeric two. Bedroom. There we go. And we can also click label it. Uh, I don't want to label it. Um, yeah, it'll tell me that it takes 18 walls, two beds, two doors, two lanterns, and 10 flooring in total. Which it'll show you the total value is 42 timber and 10 wood offcut. And it tells me the number I have of each. So, boost the time up. I'm sitting here at the low speed. I do apologize. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fun day for recording. Like, just... Oh my gosh. Injury deteriorates. What happened? An infection? Uh... Which then turns into a scar. Which... I don't know if it affects a lot of things, but it's definitely, like, you can definitely have characters with a lot of scars, to be honest. You really can. It's quite funny. But, no, this this game is incredibly interesting. Um, I have been putting in some thought as well to some other videos, because... I'm not going to lie, I, I can see the concept of this video, this this style of game, depending on how things go, it could probably get very boring really fast, and I, I don't want to bore you guys, but it is something I'm going to keep doing because I do love this game, and I want to keep showing my appreciation for this game, but I want to show all that I can. Oh, look, their social skill level up. And there is a ton of stuff that I have yet to discover. Um, like, once we get to the uh, actual sect part, once we actually got our inner disciple, which... Wanted to check his foundation is at 70%. We're almost there. Once we get there, things are going to start um, being a little bit more interesting. We're going to get a lot more options um, for things that we can do. And I'm so tempted to go in here and have him just take this forming pill and make, get it all done. Which I need to remember so I can already start preparing. I didn't want world. I wanted my sect. I went with the reincarnation pass. So it means plant, which means I need... Some specialized crystals. Igneo copper. I don't need igneo copper. I need some ice crystals. And I don't have ice crystals. Well, this will be absolutely fantastic that I don't have ice crystals. But it will work. Um, if I have to build a room out of plants, I'm going to build a room out of plants. It's just going to be how it is. But either way... Um, once we get to that level, we're going to be, you know, fine. And as I was saying before, don't want to bore you people with this, but I have been thinking of, I, I ha I've had an idea I've wanted to do for a while now, um, and I'm thinking in the next day or two on my end, probably if you are watching this when this video comes out or um, in the following days, I'm going to start doing what I would like to call um, uh, the Humble Monthly. Um, basically, if you don't know what Humble Bundle is, it is something that I extremely recommend. It is an amazing... Um, look, we've got a secret. The Thai Stone Casket. Rumor says a hunter from Napping Village. And I probably did not pronounce that right either. Has found a dead body at the foot of Mount Full Moon. The body has a stone casket on it. Sco stone casket on it. Which is invulnerable to water and, fi and fire. Very paranormal. The secret is activated. Go to the world panel, click on the secret button to inspect it, click on the secret to travel to its location. If the location is not available, you can take on more adventures to unlock new locations. That's very important. Um, you unfortunately cannot take on adventures until you hit Inner Disciple. We're still at Outer Disciple. So hopefully soon. But as I was saying, the Humble Bundle, if you don't know what it is, it is an amazing site. They do a lot of good work. And I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, I can only say that, you know, I find what they do absolutely amazing. And I want them, I want to be able to spread the good word what they do and get as much support as I can to them. Um, but all I can do is say, basically, this is word of mouth. But what they do is they offer up, at least in my case, they offer these packs where in which you spend a certain amount per month. And they give you, like, in this case, like, for me, I got 14 games. 14 games that for for a small price that's absolutely fantastic um, but what i want to do with those 14 games that i have now is i'm going to go ahead and play every single one of them for a minimum of an hour 
and I'm going to post them and see my impressions of them and kind of give you guys a rough idea of what these games are, if this is something you want to do um, for this month, or if you know, you just want to go ahead and pass on. And either way, if the videos do well, or if I like the game, I may turn those actually into a full series. Now, I am going to explain, I am also going to say here, my reluctance here on my part, I'm not looking forward to a couple of games on, well, actually just one. Um, there is a horror game on the, for this month. Um, and I'm not a big fan of horror games. I don't do well in horror games. I tend to try and avoid them as much as possible because I don't like putting myself in those situations. There's people out there who do. I, I tend to not. Um, I just wanted to get rid of that world secret. It was the same one we read before. But I'm going to do it. And I wanted to do this. This is something I've been wanting to plan and do for a while now. And whether you, if you guys want to support me in it, if you don't want, don't want to see it, that's, yeah, we can... I could definitely, you know, do something else, but as it is right now, I'm just starting out. So any support and I can get from you guys, like comments, all that, definitely helps me. It definitely lets me know that this is something you guys want to see me do more and want to see more from me. I need to get food. I just noticed I am... Yeah, I've got 44 dry meat, nothing else. This is trying to make... A simple mill on infinite repeat, but I don't have the necessary items to do so. Do you get done exploring? You did. <sighs> Sorry. I had to quench your thirst there. Excuse me. Mm, what are you building here? The mill. Why have you not completed the mill? Oh my gosh, my people are... I don't know what my people are doing. They're being weird. Uh, one of the things I was going to do was to pretty up the area. We can use this brownstone offcut. And basically go here, here, go all the way back up, and then go over, and then cross here, and then down like that that all the way over might as well grab the well here and then better to do grab this go up through here more or less I'm just trying to you know make this look better we're gonna cancel that because I don't know what he's trying to do there I really I don't I don't know Fine, we'll do that. Put the mill in a weird spot and say we'll have fun with it. And then my people are going to go and train. And then, how close are you? No, you're at 84%. Wow. Can't increase the speed anymore. I do apologize. I know this is probably a little bit slow and boring at this point, And I honestly really should... He's sleeping. I can't. I can't rush him at this point. I do apologize. Better planning. Should have come into play. Um, but one of the things I can do because he's not going to be completely ready until that point. So we're actually going to do it up here. So if this is the wall, it's going to be here. But we want to do this as a three. Here and then four across, no, five across. Put the door right there. We're basically going to make this his bedroom with the bed. And you can you can design their bedrooms however you want, but the idea is you want to make them um, not as empty as the other bedrooms because they need. This is all wood, right? Yes. Need to make sure of that. Then we go to flooring. And a chicken has come to your sack. Sweet! I've got a chicken. Because we like chickens. And. Oh, hello, phone. I know you're dying. Why are you telling me you're dying? Why is everything wanting to, you know, beep or scream at me at this moment in time while I'm trying to do a video? I do not know. I, I just. Uh, bad planning. As you can see, we got this nice flowing, and I do like how it looks. 
Um, once you start getting flooring to your sect and it makes the buildings look more fluid and functional. Um, but one of the things that you'll note of once we get there, once we get to Inner Disciple, is unlike Rimworld, where in which you know you want to either build into a mountain or build a walled little settlement, this you're not most likely going to build a walled settlement. You can, but to what end? I'll say, <laughs> because once you get to Inner Disciple, your people start flying, and that's fun. Which means, when Inner Disciples invade you... Oh, the drought season in the key... Uh, of, of key. Great. And once people start flying, they can just fly over walls. Yeah. Well, that's some interesting flavor. I'm drinking um, a blackberry lemonade for my hydration today and it's a very unique and interesting flavor. I'm actually enjoying it. It is one I would recommend to anyone out there who is interested in what I am drinking. Uh, there was a couple other thoughts I've been thinking about. Um, come on. I really don't want to waste the pill when you're at 90% basically. I can actually probably get you to work hard and then go over into work. What are your jobs? Yingfa, you're the healer. We'll take you off healer, put you on here, take you off healer. You're the hunter, we're gonna take you off hunter. We're gonna take you off farmer. Put you as the farmer. And then you're a peon, we're gonna take you off peon right now. Because I work hard, basically what it does um, in this case is at any moment in time that he can train, he's going to train. But it also means that if they have any job they need to get done, such as like sweeping, hauling, um, crafting, building, or anything like that, they're going to do that over training. And then once those are done, they're just going to focus on training. So basically what I've done is just turn him into a, a training-focused madman until he gets to the next level and then once we get to the next level we can establish a sec i should have done this actually a while ago or and i should have had him and more importantly than that i should have had him just take the forming pill and gotten this all over with rather than drag you on for what has been about three episodes of me waiting for this guy to hit the foundation level of 100 percent. but it's how i like to play i like to get them to passively do this foundation building that way I, it, it saves me that pill and I don't have to make it, see he's got a 149% match to this. And that way I'm also not using the 30% um, by not skilled in alchemy or artifact crafting, however, one has to experience reincarnation and great, gradually lose their power until the final ascension. Are you sure you want to follow this law? Yes, this is the law we want to follow. So now he's going through and he's having epiphany boom he's broken through his key is has become visible and he can we can now establish a set so first things first what i always like to do is set them on the mind path so they get this new feature where they have all this aim you notice they have all these new features up here um, we can now set the, him onto defensive so he's now going to defend the area um, once we pull up the cultivation menu this is where we're going to get this um you can see like the law here he's very he's got very good potential in law there's no element there's no aid from a cultivation provided by a master because we don't have any masters right now his key is incredibly low the environment's key is also low he's not very cozy it's not the right season he's got great mood and his mental state is not affecting it at all um, this is where we get here his mood you notice all suddenly he now is like i don't have an artifact I have terrible clothing. He now requires better clothing. And you need to give him an artifact which goes here. We don't have an artifact to give him. Which can be slightly annoying. But, but again, we have this here, this mental state. The character state of mine, which can be seen here, is at a 60, which is stable. But as he... Um, cultivates as he trains, which is either practice or train here, that goes down. And balance, he kind of tries to balance it out. 
from my experience, balance isn't the greatest. He doesn't balance it out as well as he should. I'd rather him just go straight to mind at the start and try and get that mental state as high as possible. Now, what that means is while he's in the mind state, he's going to go and basically just do leisure, leisure tasks the entire time. Whether it's playing tic-tac-toe, working at this bird cage, star, uh, cloud watching, staring at a roof. He's just he's going to try and take care of his mental health. Now, if you notice, I have I can establish a set. Um, um what's a good name? I'm just going to go with my usual um, star vein. We can select what it's going to be called. We can do like the star vein sex, star vein cave, star vein abode. Um, I like doing star vein valley. Um, this is just the normal one I've come up with. And so we lack a leader. You need to choose someone to be your sex leader. You can choose a sex leader through the sex structure menu. Um, but by establishing it, we've unlocked decorations and we've unlocked more buildings to build. Um, so this is where much you can see we're anonymous. Our reputation is anonymous. I like that they explain this, that you gain re re uh, reputation by various actions pertaining to a sect. Reputation affects the difficulty of attacking enemies. Reputation affects a sect size, 0 for a fortress, 500 for a sect, and 2,000 for a paradise. We are... One in good, zero in evil, good or evil, um, whether you lean towards being good or evil affects your choices during events and how you develop. And sl uh, sect feng shui. Feng shui affects all aspects of your entire sect. There's a lot of little things in here that we can, we have to take care of. Right now, as you can see, we have four to twelve disciples, which means we can have a total of twelve disciples. When you get to the sect level, you can have twenty-four, and paradise is thirty-six. You, like we've discovered seven manuals we got one inner disciple one mortal defeated we have three outer disciples zero deceased zero uh cultivators defeated locations discovered zero zero of a lot of things um but first thing we need to do is go to sect structure choose the sect leader we need to make yingfa our leader because that gives them a, a mood boost of all for all your characters and it gives your main guy which he now Ying Fa. He's moved. He's now moved to here. Um, you need to go to settings first off. I'm gonna show you my settings right here. Um, you can't really change. Oh yay! They, uh, I've got a group of people trying to attack me. We're just gonna pause for right now. Um, but I'm not gonna show you the real time. You can show characters' names. You can. I disabled the vo tutorial voiceover. There is a tutorial voiceover. You can keep it on if you want. In my opinion, it was. It was like you know animated uh, it was more like an automated system and all something like that um uh, where is it so the voices are in english we have the temperature in fahrenheit fast saving lock cursor memory bubbles construction grid i like having the construction grid on i turn that on game sound in the background there was a bunch of new stuff have opened up trying to remember because you have to oh it's right here so if i were to do this to display right now it's going to display all of them or i can do it just to display the inner disciples or outer disciples now when the game originally starts it's only going to show the outer disciples i clicked this a couple times and i got it to show all my disciples because i like to have them just show up now this is really nice um here's our enemy what are you you're a rabbit a red rabbit uh, you're in a trance what's your equipment you don't have anything now you guys are a little bit tough but we're gonna go ahead and get our big guy here and command him to attack and this is normal speed now look yep, they fly on their weapon and he flies all the way out there now if you really wanted to be if you didn't have um didn't choose warrior path at the beginning you can give them a bow and they'll sit up on their weapon on the bow and fire arrows down which can be a little <laughs> bit um in my opinion a little bit cheap at the beginning of the game but you do what you need to do um oh there's a box here we're gonna search terrifying bear there oh there's some ice crystal there we've also got some dark uh dark steel we're just gonna go ahead and mine 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 Mine, 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 and then mine, mine. Basically, I need that ice crystal, and I like having that dark steel. That's very, very nice. We're also going to get that right there. Yeah. Female bear is now attacking my people. You better be coming to help. You are. 
How's your health? Scar ruptured, cut serious. You knocked out that bear. Good, good, good. We're going to hunt this unconscious bear so we can kill it quickly. And we're also going to search this box. Close this. I'm going to get my people to come back. Because I've got him in defensive. Wolf hide, nice. Because I've got him in defensive, what he's going to do, um, if we get attacked by an enemy or if one of my people come under attack, he's going to go ahead and assist them. More Greystone. He's going to go help and help them out, which is incredibly useful. Um, but right now, that also means, as I said, if I go to my work list, look, he's no longer here. He doesn't help. He, he, he only focuses on, you know, his key. He only focuses on his mental state. He only focuses on his mood. Now, having him also opened up this, we now can do the world map. If I go to secret and do the tie stone test, I can now go adventure Send him out. Go him. Send him on that adventure. Go. Just. Yeah. Go out there. What's going to happen also? He's going to go. Oh, I'm going to go to sleep instead. And it's also queued up an adventure here. Uh, but he's going to go off on an adventure. Another thing that it opened up is oh, look. We now have reward spot. I'm going to put the reward spot here. Basically, what that means is if when an inner disciple comes back from an adventure, they're going to drop the rewards here, which then can be put into here. Um, we also unlocked, you know, like, wood training dummies, which I'm going to probably put over in film. The manual pavilion, the observatory, crafting table, alchemy furnace, sect stele, the ancestral shrine, and then the bell. And then if I go here, remember when I said this was going to open up some wheat more? We now have furnitures. We now have scenery. We now have statues. Leisure also, but we have a go table, uh, a zithir table. Work also added the talisman table. Um, it's more than half a month now. I wonder if the criminals who attack the uh, attack the Thai sect has have left, has left, have left. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Perhaps I should go back uh, to the Thai sect and see if there's any clues. We can definitely do that. But I also want to build this um, talisman table because it also counts as a little bit of leisure. A merchant has come to visit. Oh, that's another thing we opened up. We now have access to a herb garden and a trade area. This is very important. You cannot trade with merchants unless you have a trade area. So we're going to go ahead and just throw a nice little trade area back here. Just, yeah, what are you going to say? It's that big. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this marble sword in the trade area. We're going to throw this rabbit hide, this bull hide, this bull hide. This bear hide, this brown stone, this bear hide, chicken eggs. We have two chicken eggs. Wow. Anyway, we're going to throw all this stuff in the trade area, and then summer is coming, and we can see our merchant here. He's just... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Agility Talisman and Talisman of Fasting, which is nice. Okay. They have some obsessions. I haven't run across obsessions yet. I knew that they have a big thing in the later end of the game. But we're now going to trade with you. We're going to search for this stone casket. Requires charisma to ask for the casket. So we arrived at the village and learned that Zhang Iwa's dwelling place from some villager. Ask for the casket. Ying Fa exhibited the bearing of coming from a household of immortals. Irwa's family had always felt that he was a swindler. Ying Fa didn't have any options but to bring material powers to bear, intimidating everyone, and gained a stone casket in the process. Wow, he's a bit of a strong arm man. But see, now we can sell these items. So I have a hundred of this bull hide. And if I sell a hundred of it, I'm going to get zero for it. So we're not going to sell it. But I can sell a spear for 15. Rabbit hide for nope. Bear hide, nope. So she doesn't want to buy anything but this spear. And you can see what they have. They have a go diagram of a recorded match, acupuncture needles, an auction invitation, a light and flexible sword, firecrackers. Lingji, expensive herb that can prolong one's lifespan by three years if consumed directly. It can boost their foundation building process when consumed by other disciples. 
or replenish a small amount of stamina for inner disciples often used as medicinal ingredient and consuming it in large quantities to significantly diminish the effects however of course um, there's also you know like euphoria pill key regenerative pill spirit stones wood pill bane pill luminicor and then obviously they have a simple kid ch uh, chicken in a cage what we're going to want to do is grab these um, spirit stones and put 15 price tag on it because this is the currency of the game we're going to grab that. We traded it off now. Boop. They, she took the spirit, and we've got 15 spirit stones there. For now, for a total of 40 spirit stones and zero influence. And she sticks around for a while. We can dismiss that. Worldly secret. Um, and then there's these sect rumors. These sect rumors are kind of like, you know, the other sects. They may be doing stuff, and you can kind of hear about it. Like, you know, the sunshade, sunshade abode found a small heavenly abode of an ancient sect in Mount Copper Tomb. After searching the place, the sect became much more powerful than before. Uh, he's still an adventurer, and it's counting down, so that means he's almost back. And then it said the Blue Lotus Temple Sage Shang Jing showed up, often shows up at Naping Village, telling us there. And see, he just came back, and he dropped it off here. He was supposed to drop it off here, but because we placed this late, if I remember right, um, he didn't drop it there. Now he's going to go and sleep, but we're actually going to make sure he gets this room. And then I need to make sure to kill that. It's a grim day. Okay. Let us get to decorating this room. Um, let's make sure this is on timber. We need a vase there. Let's throw a sensor here. We're going to need the cauldron. Let's do some... Cancel and cancel. Let's do this flag. We'll actually put that there. And then furniture. This brownstone, brownstone, brownstone. Brownstone timber. We'll throw that there. Bookcase. Make sure it's timber. Throw this here. And then... Well, actually, no, 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 no. We're going to do cancel and then... No, I need to cancel. Because what I'm going to do is put this folding screen here. Made of wood. And then... Put this face here. And then this learning bookcase here. You kind of want to put as much as you can in here without completely cramming it as they said you want to give it about a 30 to 70 percent um fullness there's a fire there's always a fire in the kitchen that's why i put that wood vat that water vat there um but yeah again i want to thank you guys so much for coming out and watching my video um if you like what you see or if you like any if you can think of anything else you want to see me do um i'm more than happy to try and attempt it uh, my computer it, I'm not gonna. My computer is actually pretty well decent. It definitely could use some upgrades. Um, so yeah, again, this is Medium King of Jow, the Medium King of Jow. And again, thank you so much for coming out and watching my video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to show your support. That means so much to me. And stay awesome.